Hi YouTube, welkom bij een nieuw special vlog. I now gonna pick up Levi from the train station and then we will explain what we gonna do today. We are now by the train station. I think we found him. Yes, there he is. So uh, we found Levi. So uh, Levi, uh, please Hello. introduce yourself to my viewers. Yes, uh, okay, I am uh, Levi. I used to collect processors, now just using retro hardware. Uh, mainly focus, focusing on a Pentium Pro build right now. But uh, we are on our way to uh, a computer store to pick up some uh, new old stock uh, Pentium 3 Xeons for me. Uh, but uh, we're going to check out what he has as well uh, because uh, it's an old store. He has a lot of old stock. He used to go to uh, old computer fairs, the HCC days and the. Uh, Pacedum Dach. And uh, yeah, he just has uh, some uh, a lot of stuff lying around and he's not doing anything with it because he hasn't updated his, his website in like. Uh, well, eight years, I think. <laughs> and he has stock from the 90s to 2000 and I think also newer, but he has Facer local bus video cards, AESA uh, expansion cards, he has old slot A motherboards, new in box, uh, dual Xeon stuff. Uh, there could be a lot more of stuff because his website hasn't been updated in eight years and I, I, he still bought stuff. So, uh, well, there could be a lot more stuff in his attic that we don't know what he has. Hope hopefully he has some uh, 3DFX video cards, but we don't. <laughs> I don't count on it, <laughs> but maybe you'll never know. But he has old uh, Matrox video cards on his website and stuff. And, uh, so we will see what we uh, can find. Exactly. And we have a, a big car with us and we have some money, so... Hopefully we can fill the car up. <laughs> And after this, uh, we also gonna uh, pick up a dual Optron server, which is uh, donated to me by a subscriber of my channel. Oh, nice. So that's on the way back to uh, Levi's uh, home. So uh, that will be uh, tonight. So uh, let's see what we can find today. With, with uh, the, the guy that owns the store, it basically he still runs his store out of the or out of his home. So uh, it's going to be a bit invading if we're going to uh, go in with a camera there and uh, film all the stuff there. I don't think he's, he, he wants us to um, film stuff uh, inside there. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll just uh, go in and then uh, when we get out, I think we're going to show some stuff that we bought. As I said, it's not a it's not a company building. The guy lives uh, is it's in in its home, so um, he runs his store out of his home. Hello, people. Uh, I think uh, we are finally done. Uh, we have spent like four hours inside of uh, um, an attic, and uh, we needed to find a lot of boxes and uh, needed to move a lot of boxes. Uh, stuff was sitting on top of each other. Um, we searched like six different boxes full of, pro, uh, of uh, motherboards. Yeah, we found some stuff. Uh, and was stacked to the roof on some places. <laughs> we might have missed a few stuff, uh, a few things, but um, I think we found most of the stuff we wanted. And uh, unfortunately there was no um, 3D FX stuff, but... Um, not, not many video cards in general. Yeah, many Matrox uh, Millennium 2 uh, megabyte cards. Yeah, box full of Ma Matrox cards indeed, but uh, no, uh, no add-on cards. Or uh, I did get some uh, interesting um, ISA slot Apian graphics cards and uh, uh, Elsa Gloria, I think. But uh, the Elsa Gloria, I'm not sure if it's interesting or not. But uh, we'll have to see when I get home. So there was also a lot of. Uh, processors around uh, a lot of Pentium Pro processors but we're not gold scrappers so we didn't buy all of them <laughs> so uh, because uh, yeah the gold value on those is very high and uh, the processor value itself also is rather high but uh, Victor bought a, a pair of uh, one megabyte cache 200 megahertz Pentium Pros for not a lot of money because I said they were worth not that much <laughs> but uh, Actually, I was, I was talking the truth because those are not that interesting for gold scraps at all. Mm -hmm. Because they're not gold, they're black. We're now going to the awesome space in uh, Utrecht. 
So we gonna give you an overview there of all the stuff we bought. So you can watch uh, what we actually bought. We, we switched it out in two crates. Uh, Victor's part is uh, in a different crate than mine. You can check what, what I bought and what Victor bought and you can basically look what I looked at and what Victor looked at. There's some differences in what stuff we bought. So uh, yeah, Victor got something really, really nice. <laughs> but we'll we don't gonna tell you yet. Yeah, we're gonna show you later on. Well, the guy that was uh, running the store, he's a older guy. He's, uh, well, he's rather uh, nice. He's uh, friendly. It's not that we uh, stole stuff from him in, at uh, very way too low prices, but um, we paid a fair price for what it's still worth. The, the point is with these people, you just have to be fair with them and just have good argumentation why you want to pay those prices. And it is still their business, so you can't say, oh, this motorboat is five euros, because that's an insult uh, instead of a that you get a good deal. He had a lot of motherboards. Some, some are actually five euros, but uh, <laughs> but uh, that's that's like motherboards that nobody wants. I, so, but um, he he just has a hard time searching around what he uh, actually still has because I actually ordered a motherboard from him. He said he wouldn't have, and we searched the box and the motherboard was it was there, but it's just in the back of a box somewhere where it almost was not accessible at all. Okay guys, we're going to um, be with you in a, in a bit and uh, we're going to eat first because we haven't eaten, eaten yet. And uh, we're going to uh, continue at the awesome uh, retro uh, space. We are now in the awesome space in Utrecht and we're gonna show you all the stuff we uh, got. So first we're gonna put it on the table and then uh, show it uh, what we each bought. We have set up the stuff on the table now, so we're gonna start with Levi, his uh, care, and he's gonna show you around what he has bought. Yes. Okay, well, at the first uh, first thing that we bought, uh, actually went there, was the server motherboard. This is our open DX2G+. G DX2 G Plus. It's a very big motherboard, big box. Brand new. Brand new indeed. And there's a lot of ex accessories in the box. But uh, we're not going to unbox it right now. But I guess uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. So like Terminator cards and uh, CPU brackets and stuff. That's uh, actually very nice. A complete box. Next up is two types of Intel Xeon processors. These are Intel Confidential Engineering Samples. Actually, these uh, are. Um, this is a very this uh, very early unreleased sample of the 350 megahertz version Pentium 2. I have a matched pair of them, so can run them and try them out how they run. And, how uh, many caches do they have? 512 kilobytes of cache, so not a lot, but that's more than the normal Pentium 2 that only has. 265? No, 512 with 512. half speed. Half speed. This is full speed at least. So it should be uh, interesting to see what these kind of kinds of chips do. And there's another one of them. Um, this is a different one. This is a 450 megahertz, one meg cache. And uh, interesting is the Q spec is Q666 ES. So this is, uh, well, if you had a server. If Satan had a server, I guess this was would be his processors. <laughs> so uh, this come com complete, complete with a heatsink. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the heatsink on these though, because these they are, they are too high. These these are actually meant for HP or Dell servers, uh, and they won't fit in the motherboard if I keep these on there. So I'll just need to sh change those out. Uh, well, next up, there's a whole lot of motherboards. Um, Actually found these as last the la as one of the last ones. Um, these two are identical motherboards, I think, because now when I look at them, they're different shades of brown. Actually, so they should be around the same motherboard. I guess different revisions or something. Um, this one has a Cyrix M2 processor, 
uh, 300 GP, it's, I think those are not 300 megahertz, but whatever. Uh, and this one has a 75 megahertz Pentium that I stuck on there for just transporting it because the pins need to be straight. This one, this one is a gold cap, it's still underneath there, you can't see it. But um, this motherboard has good caps, this one has bad caps, sadly. Bad caps. Very bad, very bad, yeah. You can see all swollen up and stuff. Mm -hmm. So so the motherboard needs some love. Exactly. But they ha both have an AGP slot, which is interesting with Socket 7, because there's not a lot of motherboards around with AGP slots on Socket 7. Well, they are around, but they're very popular. Anyway, uh, moving on. Um, we have this board. This is a micro ITX motherboard with, a with an internal VGA. It's a Rage, uh, ET Rage. EGP card. It's also a Super Socket 7 motherboard. Also Super Socket 7 indeed. It has a K6, a K6 II processor from AMD. Not sure if they're going to keep the AMD on there because I have a lot of chips I still want to try out. That's a Super Socket 7 platform because I don't think there's a lot of micro ATX on uh, Socket 7. This is an Elsa Gloria graphics card. It's actually a card that could have 24 me megabytes of uh, memory is still expendable so i'm not sure if there's 24 on there right now but it, i guess it's like 16 because there's chips on both sides this is uh, a 3d labs powered card just like the appian card i also have this card this is uh, it's a monster <laughs> you can't see what it is it's uh, it's some kind of uh, graphics card at least it's for isa slot and it's made by appian uh, i googled this card and it's turned out to be a, a tree uh, uh, appian rendition 4 card i have no idea what this card does or how fast it is for it for isa it has memory it has expendable memory as well and it has an auto card sandwich on it so i guess it's upgraded in some way but no idea what it is actually well this graphics card not that interesting only that it's just for a pci card it's fast it's a uh, it's an ati radeon 7000 it's a pentium 60 megahertz processor with the FDIV bug, so this one has a floating point error that, well, if you want to count with this, you won't uh, calculate with this correctly, so it's a gold cap version, nice chip, no bent, not that much bent pins. This is a AMD 5K86, this, I think this is the predecessor of the AMD K5, it might also just be a K5, but a very early K5. This is a 75 megahertz, so I guess this isn't just as old as the Pentium. Some more motherboards. This, these motherboards actually are all the same, also the one in the box here. Just the difference with them is the processor and the speed of the processor. Because we have a, 300, a 233 megahertz here. We have a 200 megahertz here. And we have a 266 in this board. And actually, uh, these boards are quite interesting because the Serix G Media GXM processors have an internal graphics card on their motherboard or in the CPU as well. Everything is integrated on these boards. And it's just, you don't see this anymore, that much anymore. So, actually they are socket 7, but they don't support any other processor than this processor. You can already see it, I guess, on the video, but it's um, it's the Pentium Pro motherboard. This is a Soyo motherboard that uh, allows uh, use for one Pentium Pro processor. Actually, there's a one on there right now. This is a 200 MHz 256 cache uh, model, boxed version. I have one at home, so I have another matched pair of these. Um, takes 72 pins memory or PC, uh, I guess, Edo memory with just one slot, so... This is uh, just a standard ATX motherboard. It needs a VRM, which I don't have. So that will be the second VRM I need to buy somewhere. So uh, yeah, it's a nice motherboard though. So This is another motherboard, also a Pentium Pro motherboard. But it's uh, AT format and it's brand new in box, good caps. 
only thing about this is it uses an AT power supply so you need an AT case for this or just get an adapter for the AT or whatever then but it will work and actually it has a PS2 slot right here on the case output might be hard to find a case for that it actually supports that though and uh, uh, this box there's stuff in there I guess a, uh, some, some cables and stuff uh. IDE and stuff yeah so um, yeah and the last thing it's behind the Pentium Pro motherboard that's uh, a CD-ROM drive oh no it's not the last thing anyway CD-ROM drive I open 40, 40 times speed nice retail just a really cool drive retail box and uh, might use this for the for the for the Xeon build, maybe. And la very, uh, very last, we have two CPU coolers. Actually, I'm not the only one who bought these coolers, but uh, these are golden orb coolers. Very nice. Brand new. Look, look really nice. And is, uh, is this thermal take? I don't know. Maybe it's a clone, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> very nice coolers, at least. So. We can use these for all kinds of builds, maybe socket 7, uh, socket A, everything basically that fits the sockets. And as last, uh, a Pentium Pro cooler with an alarm clock on it, but uh, look at the alarm, so it's why beep <laughs> when it stops running. Well, okay, well that's my stuff, so uh, I hope you like my stuff, Well, uh, and uh, I hope... Uh, well, tell me what you liked best uh, in the comments, I guess. Okay, this is what I bought. And we have bought a few things uh, the same. Like the uh, uh, Dual Xeon motherboard. And the uh, AT Pentium Pro motherboard. And I bought 12 of those coolers. Because they are just really nice. Yeah, really nice. Okay, let's start. I bought online a VGA capture card. So I found this uh, two port VGA video splitter. And I think I can combine that with uh, uh, the capture card to have a uh, better setup. So we have here the two port VGA video splitter. Then we have an Intel uh, DX4 100 megahertz uh, chip. So it is the fastest Intel 486 chip. Here we have two Intel Pentium Pro 200 megahertz with one MB cache per chip. And it's a version without gold in it. Here we have a 3D game card. And the brand is Yaton. And it is a NEC Power VR PCX2 3D processor uh, with 4 megabytes of SD memory. Uh, sports on uh, 1024 resolution and it says 30 frames per second and support Microsoft Direct X 3D games and demo games included are Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, Subculture, Wipeout and something with an X. 3 3D games inside Daytona. the Daytona USA and Virtual Fighter. In the beginning of the three-day era, uh, this was one of the uh, competition uh, together with the Fudu 1. And the Fudu 1 uh, won over this system. So this is a very uh, rare card and it's brand new in the box. Here we have uh, two uh, 3Com 80Link 3 uh, AESA uh, network cards. I don't know. It's stuck. <laughs> Somebody glued it down. Yeah. Anyway. I think not many people know about the AESA standard, but it is uh, an a an ESA slot with some extra uh, contact points under it. So, uh, so it's faster than ISA, but slower than PCI. I think. Uh, PCI has four times more throughput in the bus than I, uh, AESA. So I have these two ISA cards and also an ISA uh, Adapt Exclusive controller. So now I need to find an I, AESA motherboard. So maybe someday. Here we have another CPU and it's a Celeron 300A. 
and I can probably run this at uh, 450 megahertz without a problem. So it's a big overclocking CPU. Here we have the Pentium 3 1 gigahertz uh, slot 1 on 133 megahertz bus. So it's one of the fastest uh, uh, slot 1 Pentium uh, 3 chips. Oh, it's the fastest. So it's very nice to have one in the collection. Here we have a Diamond Speedstar uh, ISA video card with the Sears Logic uh, chipset. And here we have a Diamond Style 2 S220 with a, a Redition V2100 chip. So it's a very nice card. Here we have a uh, Miro Crystal uh, Face Local Bus video card with two megabytes of memory. So it's a very nice card for a 486 build, which is coming someday. I also found this AWA32 uh, sound card with uh, two memory modules installed. Uh, the bracket is a little bit bent, but that's not an issue. And uh, they are uh, really good cards for DOS gaming. Here we have an Atari uh, Lynx with a box. Very nice find. And I found uh, uh, an AMD uh, slot A cooler, but with dual fans and brand new. So that's very nice uh, to do an uh, AMD build someday. Here we have an uh, open motherboard. It's an uh, AK72. Brand new in box with all the cables and uh, manuals. And it is a uh, slot A motherboard for uh, AMD Athlons. I have the cooler and this motherboard and I have two uh, uh, CPUs at home so I can do a AMD build someday. But I also have two more AMD uh, motherboards. This board includes Antivirus 2000. So we are very safe. Norton, yeah. Yeah, and this man is not for resale. <laughs> So here we have two other AMD motherboards. They are K7 Pros with an AMD chipset. So let's see uh, how the motherboard looks. Also brand new. We have three SD RAM slots, an ISA slot, HCP, PCI, normal IDE uh, Interface. channels. No sound card, so it's a very nice board to do a build. And here we have the same board. So I now have enough AMD boards, because at home I have two AMD boards, but they were not very stable when I was testing them. With these three boards, I have a good start to do an AMD build in the future. Uh, also, I found this Turtle Beat sound card. It's a Tropez Plus. And let's check out the card inside. It's in the complete box. And the box in the box. We have the drivers and uh, the, uh, the manual. Yeah, the the uh, the CD-ROM uh, uh, the CD-ROM audio cable. And here we have the card itself, also brand new, never used. And it has three uh, memory uh, slots. And here we have a crystal chip. And some uh, chips where the, they say wave front, so I think this must be a really uh, good uh, card. I need to do more research on it. It's a Turtle Beat Systems Tropic Plus card. So a very nice and interesting find. Oh, and here we have also a CD-ROM interface. And some extra MIDI port here. So I think it has two MIDI channels. Windows 95 uh, plug and play compatible, DOS game compatible, EDA uh, interface, hardware wave table, 4 megabytes of waveform ROM, up to 12 megabytes of sample store, 
high quality real time FX processor up to 48 kHz CD audio quality, free soft, free audio software and sound blaster compatible. So that uh, that sounds really impressive. It has an uh, FM synthesizer stereo FM synthesizer Yamaha OP3 and it's AdLib compatible. So it sounds like a really good card. And here we have the masterpiece of this haul. It's an Asus P2B motherboard, but it's the Asus P2B DS. So let's see what's inside. Here we have the motherboard. Oh wait. <laughs> here we have the motherboard. Here we have an brand new Asus P2B DS motherboard. It supports dual processor and has an Adaptex SCSI controller on board. It's a very nice find and one of the most wanted for 40BX motherboards. And it's brand new. So we were very lucky to find this motherboard. Here we have even uh, extra SCSI cables, the back panel. Uh, a driver uh, diskette for the SCSI card, the normal IDE and floppy cables, so it's very complete in the box. Some extra brackets for the CPUs. Here we have some sensors, uh, more uh, drivers uh, on the CD, the manual, and the manual for the SCSI card. So uh, I have a box for you with some parts in it, oh. which you can use. Oh, let's see. Oh, Sound Blaster Live, very nice. 5.1, cool, thank you. Let's check out, oh, another one. Two different models. <laughs> oh yeah, indeed, you're right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 5.1 and the one is, the other one is an no, is a, is a other one, other type. Yeah. This one, PCI, S3, Verge. Okay. Just a simple uh, PCI video card. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eight AT. And another S3 card. With memory modules installed. So this is like two or four. Or maybe <laughs> just one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is one is almost the same, but this one has soldered ones. And some adapters I guess these are this is SCA80 to yeah oh yeah yeah okay okay thank you very much indeed and this is the processor you was talking about yeah, right an Evergreen uh, CPU very nice it's I think it's running at 200 megahertz Mm -hmm. And it's an upgrade over a Pentium 100. Yes, this is exactly what I was talking about. The guys, this is a IDT wind chip yes. underneath, but that's, uh, but it has an internal fan stuff, and this is uh, soldered on there. It's yeah, a, it's a really interesting chip. Okay, let's look. Some HP Scusi drives. Yeah. I guess this nine gigabytes, 7200 RPM. So it's perfect for your... Uh, Pentium Pro yeah. build. Yeah. I guess these will fit there. Yes. Okay, cool. Very nice. Yes. Okay. And another one. Yeah. Same drive. Oh yeah, 9.1 as well indeed. And I guess this is a cable. Yes. Yes. Very nice, with so, the Terminator. Yeah, with Terminator. So you have a basic uh, SCSI kit now. Okay, well thank you very much indeed. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, yeah, very useful for me. Okay, thank you. Then you can learn a bit about SCSI <laughs> and how it works. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm really simple. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, 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 I just never used it because it's mm -hmm. server hardware. Yeah. So. If you yeah. can count to seven and start <laughs> with a zero, you get uh, squishy work. Yeah. So here you have it, all the parts we found today in this mega hole. We now gonna pack it up 
and then we're gonna pick up a dual Optron server on the way back to Levi's home. It was a so, long day, but very productive. Uh, we will be back when we are uh, uh, together with the server. So here we have a 1U server. And uh, yeah, this is uh, heavy. Subscriber uh, contacted me on uh, on YouTube. I have a server for you uh, if you want. Uh, and he doesn't have a, a car or something. And it was on the road, so we picked it up. We have here a, a light, so we're gonna put it here on the ground. Okay. <laughs> here we have it. A server with a tie-in server motherboard with two single core Opterons and uh, six gigabytes DDR1 uh, memory and uh, uh, four drives uh, from 250 gigabytes uh, and they are SATA drives. So a very nice server and uh, I'm gonna make a video about this system one day. Thank you for the server. Yeah, we had a very productive day with the whole of the retro stuff. There were some really great items in it and all Almost all parts are brand new. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time. Yes. Okay, goodbye and see you maybe next time.